watching Eve Believe Beauty. I've got a really exciting video for you today. It is a Halloween um, nail art tutorial. I have already created a swatch for you. Hopefully it shows up of what we're going to do. So this is kind of just a rough swatch. But this is the design that we're going to be doing. It's a gradient and stamping tutorial. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump right in and show you everything that you need. So the first thing you will need is a base coat. I am using this one by Nail Tech. It is the Intense Therapy uh, Formula 2, but you can use any base coat you want. You also need a top coat. This is Sage Vite. This is by far my favorite top coat, um, especially for stamping. Um, but like I said, you can try any top coat you want. Just try and find one with a soft brush. Um, I will also be using a plain white polish. This is just one by Wet n Wild, and this is called French White Cream. And yeah, just pretty simple. You can use any white. And I'm using a black. This is also by Wet n Wild, um, and this is black cream. And then I need a dark, dark purple. And this is going to be tough to show up on camera, but this is an almost black dark purple. And this is by China Glaze, and it is called Crimson. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's a beautiful, really, really deep, deep purple color. You'll also need a medium toned purple. This one is by Orly and it is called Charged Up. And like I said, you guys can use any color combination you want. Um, and this is another one by Orly. You're going to need a bright orange or any Halloween orange, I guess. Um, and this one is called Melt Your Popsicle. And you're going to need a glitter. I'm using this really fine milled glitter. Um, this is kind of going to represent stars, so I tried to find one that was really, really, um, uh, what do you call it, micro glitters. <laughs> um, and I, a holographic one is a plus. This one that I'm using is by China Glaze, and it's called Fairy Dust. But like I said, you can use any glitter that you want. And then for my accent nail, I'm going to be using this one by China Glaze. And this is called Boogie Down. And this is from their newest um, Halloween collection, the Monsters Ball 2013 collection. This is an amazing glitter polish, and we are going to be using this on our accent finger. Next, you will need a Conad stamper, or a, I guess any brand stamper, and a scraper. I'm using an old credit card. And you'll be needing this Winstonia plate. This is plate 116, and we are going to be using the bat image right in the middle. You will also need nail polish remover. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, this is just a bottle I refilled, but nail polish remover. You'll need some makeup um, or cosmetic sponges. Some scissors to cut up the cosmetic sponges. Um, I'm using this little tin. We're going to put nail polish in this. You can use like a paper plate or a piece of paper or anything you want. Um, you will also need a Q-tip. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot film today. My goodness. Um, toothpick. Thank you. This is a long day for me. Um, and you're going to need some Q-tips also. <laughs> And some cotton rounds or cotton balls. I like using the cotton rounds because um, it tends to get less um, linty and stuff when we're doing the nail art. So that is all that you will need. Um, and I'm going to jump right back in with the tutorial, so stay tuned for that. So the first thing we're going to do is apply our base coat. The next thing we're going to be doing is adding our base color. I'm using this um, Wet n Wild Wild Shine white color. And we're just going to be applying this kind of haphazardly. This doesn't need to be perfect because we will be covering it up with other colors and other designs. Um, so if it's a little bit patchy, that's just fine. Oh, I forgot to mention, make sure that your base coat is completely dry before you start this step. And the reason why we're applying white is because it will just, when we're sponging the colors over top, since it's going to be such thin layers, um, the white just really makes everything pop. 
So I'm just going to finish that up and we'll come, I will be right back with okay, the so rest of the design. dried completely. Um, we're going to go move on to our next step. Um, I'm taking one of the uh, cosmetic sponges and my scissors. And what I'm going to do is just kind of like eyeball how big I need this to be um, to like about the size of my nail. Um, size it up to your thumb too to make sure that it's going to work. I'm going to cut this one in about half. And this should be about the perfect size for me to do all of my nails with. And what we're going to do is take our tin or paper plate or whatever and we're also going to need to grab our toothpick and we're going to take our three main colors, which was the dark purple, the medium purple, and the orange. And what we're going to do is first open all the bottles up. So that they're ready to go, easily accessible. And we're just going to put a drop of each color in the tin. like one right after the other and it's going to look like that then you're going to take your q-tip and this is an optional step I just like to do this just to make sure that the colors are blended and just where the colors meet kind of mix it around a little bit just to make sure that they blend well and then we're going to take our cut up cosmetic sponge dip it just like that and we have the color like that and I'm just going to use my, my thumb to show you. We're going to have the orange at the bottom of the nail and the dark purple at the top. And we're just going to start sponging it on. Do you see that? And we're going to need to do this for a few, a few layers to get it opaque. Okay guys, so we're back and I have done two coats of the gradient on each finger and as you can see it's crazy messy around my cuticles but don't worry about that we're going to take care of that later um so I forgot to I don't know if I forgot to mention this but this is like I was trying to make it like a um sunset Halloween sunset kind of thing um with the stars and the bats coming out so um that's what we're going for let me remind you of the swatch this is where we're going to end up super pretty right um, so the next step is the glitter. So this is China Glaze Fairy Dust, as I said, and we are going to be applying this on all of our fingers except for the accent finger. On the accent finger, we will be applying this China Glaze one, and this is Boogie Down, and that will be our accent finger. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get to that. And I will be back. Oh, just to remind you, if you are using China Glaze Fairy Dust, this is this stuff is kind of gloopy, and it takes a crazy long time to dry. So I will be back when this is completely dry, which will probably be a long time. <laughs> so here's what it looks like with the glitter. I decided to put um, a coat of the Fairy Dust as well as a coat of the boogie down on my accent finger just to give it a little bit more depth um, and all the other fingers just have the one coat of the fairy dust um, isn't that just like gorgeous though the effect that that gives it really does look like a starry night so um, this is going to take a while to dry so make sure it's completely 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 dry before um, you start the next step um, but yeah I will just come back with the stamping it's portion really windy and a little crazy outside and I can't I can't control the light. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's go on through the next step. Um, so the last part of this manicure is to put the bats um, on there. So we're going to have them kind of coming out this way like they're um, coming out of the horizon a little bit. So for that we're going to use this black nail polish and we're just going to put the polish on the stamp scrape with our scraper and pick it up with our stamper make sure it's on there it looks good and then make sure that you line it up right so that they're coming out of the center and so that's what it looks like on. this one's a little bit off center which I kind of like actually it looks like it's like I don't know 
swooshing around from the side. So I am just going to do the same thing on all the nails except for the nail that we put the accent glitter on and then I will be back to show you guys okay, what that so looks this like. this is what it looks like now that I've put all the stamps on. Um, I really like this design. It's not quite complete though. Um, as you can see the cuticles look horrendous. They look like a murder scene or something. I don't know. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is... Um, I filled this little, this is just a cap to the nail polish remover, and I filled it with some nail polish remover, and I'm going to take my Q-tips and just dip it in the remover, and we're going to be cleaning off the edges. And this can be kind of time consuming <laughs> and a little bit irritating, so um, if you recreate this design you can choose to tape up the sides of your nail. Um, before you start this so that you can just peel off the tape and you'll reveal the beautiful clean skin. Um, I decided not to do that because I'm running low on tape and <laughs> I didn't want to waste it all for this manicure. So I just decided to just clean it up. I'm just going to finish um, cleaning up my manicure and then I will come back and we will talk about top coat. Okay, so I finished cleaning up around my cuticles and I also applied top coat to all of my fingers but uh, my pointer finger. So I'm just going to show you how that is. I kind of wanted to show you what Sejvit is like because Sejvit is really gloopy. <laughs> Um, as you can see, and so for people that are new to Sejvit, this might get really, really irritating. Some people hate Sejvit for this reason. I just think that it is such a great top coat anyways. Um, I will live with the gloopiness because it is so... It's like my miracle worker kind of <laughs> top coat. Um, and don't forget to cap the tip. Um, that's, you know, you just rub the edge of the brush um, at the tip of the nail because Sejvit also has a tendency to shrink. So make sure you do that, but... Um, yeah guys, this is the finished design. I am really, really happy with it. I am, <laughs> I mean, it's very, very Halloween-like, very spooky, but very girly and pretty too. So, um, if you guys decide to try this design out, um, please, uh, you know, message me or uh, post it on Facebook, um, tag me on Twitter, or anything. I would love to see your guys' recreations of this look, and I hope you have a very spooky Halloween and a great day, guys. Mm -hmm.